She was at the centre of the block bombshell, producing the winning bid for Jimmy and Tam's house, but not coming up with the money. After we exposed her international trail of debt, she fled the country. She's now resurfaced, armed and dangerous, in a war zone. Amesh Fake is no stranger to spinning stories. Um, first, I would like to apologise for the late start. We had some logistical issues. But usually, it's to cover up her own lies. No, we cannot comment. Now it seems she's in control of the information coming from the war in Ukraine. Good morning, everyone. Um, we gathered here so we can have interviews with three legionnaires who came back from the front line for this event. Sharing the efforts of legitimate foreign fighters and acting like one herself. On that note, I would like to add that this is why we are doing these events now. Um, and this is why we're trying to get the real guys out here and let them tell their stories. The only problem is Emej has a history of being one of the fake guys. I mean, being on a battlefield, the last person you want behind you with a gun is her. We exposed the 30-year-old as a fraud in 2020 after she went on national television and placed a fake bid on the block for Jimmy and Tam's house worth more than $4 million. Our bidder that, uh, that won the auction on the day has been found out to be producing fraudulent documents for money transfers for the payment of the house. And that was the tip of the iceberg, according to one of her ex-partners. She has stolen money from people like myself and many others. When I met her, she was pretending to be a cyber security expert and working for the United Nations. At the time, Omej insisted she was legit and had the millions. I reached out to um, people behind a block and we agreed that we were going to do our best to work this out. But that was a lie. You feel like you've been played. She came to our house to watch the final episode with us. She cracked a bottle of wine out of the wine fridge. She sat down and she actually cried with us when the result came over. So the Hungarian woman fled Australia and continued her campaign of innocence from the sands of Portugal. My fault in all this was that I did not know the purchase process and therefore was unable to spot mistakes or know what information was mistaken. There, she was accused of again using fake bank transfers to prove she paid rent to a landlord before resurfacing in Ukraine. Two weeks ago, she posted a photo of herself in camouflage gear holding an assault rifle on Facebook. When someone asked what she was doing, she responded in Hungarian, three and a half months in Ukraine. This is the I'm tired of the Ukrainian uniform and I wear my own stuff phase. We will have a short Q&A and after that, the outlets who reached out to me yesterday, uh, we'll have the opportunity for one-on-one -on -one interviews nearby. Talking the talk and running the show, but who is the real Hermes? So the purpose of this is for us to be able to tell what is really happening in the Legion and how things really are. So I will introduce Ryan, Craig and Aaron. Uh, they are all from the US. Um, oh, Craig is from Britain, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> with people who are actually fighting the good fight. All the people we, uh, all the people I know that we've lost were good people, and, and we miss them. Every loss is felt. Her LinkedIn profile boasts qualifications from the University of West London, but when we contacted the uni, it said it had no record of that. So it's unclear how she got this gig, sorting fact from fiction. I know that this rumor was circulating out there for quite a while, and we still get questions about this sometimes. We are recruiting, our recruitment criteria has not changed. I was messaging Amej last night to see if she wanted to talk about her change of pace. But after I said I work for Channel 9, she went silent. It's 9am there now, so let's give her one more try. She just hung up. Clearly, she wants to pick and choose the questions she answers. 
Uh, with how many are you now in the International Legion? In total, overall, you can't. can't we do not on comment on numbers. We do not comment on that. Nope. And this will, done? let me just, this will go for the one on ones as well. We do not comment on numbers for uh -huh. the total of the Legion. We do not comment on numbers from individual countries either. So please do not ask. Jimmy and Tam say they've moved on with life, but get the shivers every time they see a headline with her name. We've all come to realise that she is just attention seeking and everything she does is just to get headlines. Exactly. And I honestly feel for the people that have already been conned and the people still to be conned. We can only hope it's not the people of Ukraine. I think she needs to be stopped. I don't know how she's going to be stopped. Thank you for waiting for us and thank you for coming. We've since received a message saying she'll be back to us later today. We're still waiting.